Uh, I want to take a look at uh, Fetch AI. Now, I will say two things about Fetch AI, right? Um, one of the things is the, the price pattern looks very bullish and very, very nice, right? So uh, I would say it has probably the best potential of a lot of the altcoins right now to do a strong move. Not saying that it will, but I'm saying it has a chance, right? And I'm thinking, right, that chance is to move up towards about $2 here. Now, over what time period? That's the question, right? So no guarantees here of, uh, of anything like right, right now. Um, but the thing that is very, very good about Fetch AI is the pattern. And I'll give you guys some of the negatives here on Fetch AI as well. But um, one of the things you do have to understand here is that they do have um, the art, like in their coin ticker symbol, they have AI. I know how dumb that is, right? In terms of just like, okay, you bet on a coin just because that has AI in the ticker. Well, I mean, it's ticker is FET, right? But you can't talk about the project without saying fetch AI, right? Or fetch.ai. So um, there's just going to be, as the market gets bigger, you're going to find people who want AI related opportunities, right? Um, in Bitcoin, right? So, or in crypto. So, um, you know, AI trends are going to make it. Uh, I think AGIX is another one that people, I heard some people trying to pump and stuff, but the chart looks terrible on that one, right? All A lot of the other AI projects I've looked at, right? Um, they probably don't use AI in terms of their technology and um, their charts are shit. This one uses AI in its technology, even though it's very, very light, right? Um, at the moment, um, I would say you could argue it is a copy paste project a little bit, um, but um, you know, they, whoever's behind it does know how to make a pretty nice price pattern here. So the tokenomics are pretty good. So if you just take a look at this as a one, two, three, four, and five here, right? You got your wave one sequence in, and now here's where it gets interesting, right? You have an ABC move right into the bottom. And then here's the thing, right? The current move that you have with Fetch AI earlier this year, um, basically, uh, was a five wave sequence we could go down to the daily and see it but it's like basically a one two three four and five here right and if we take a look at a wave two right we kind of pull up a fib retracement here it touched that 0.786 and i'll delete this other one here for a second it touched oops that wasn't the right one to delete <laughs> uh there we go uh but look at that that is fucking to the fucking spot right there right down to 0.786 on the freaking penny right, at 17 cents, right? So that, when you see something react that strongly to a FIB level, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Um, but then if we just, uh, let me go back here a little bit. There we go. Um, then if we look at the current daily trend, right? It's like, okay, are we going to start breaking out for fetch.ai? Well, what you need to see here is this current downtrend, right, off of its lows, right, this current downtrend to be broken. And I would say once it reaches past this level, about 23, 24 cents, right, then it is going to do a nice run. And that run can go anywhere uh, to about like 30 cents, I think is the first target here, because I do think you see uh, a uh, one, two, three, this is a wave four, then you get a wave five up here, right? I think the month of July, this goes maybe up to 30 cents, right? So it's not a huge gainer. Right. And then it comes back down here in August. But if we get that nice run past um, uh, July into maybe October, right, that's where you start seeing here, right, some possible potential moves. And um, if it is finished with its wave two and it starts going past here in August, September, past 33 cents and then past 41 cents, right, if it could pass or 44 cents, if it can pass those regions, then it's going to fucking take off like a rocket, right? And it could go like nuts. It went here from uh, 5 cents uh, to 50 cents, so over a 10x on that wave one, right? A thousand percent, almost an 11x right there. Um, and so if it went from 17 cents to $1.70, which is basically the higher end of this uh, area, um, or $1.30 even, right, that region, I would not be surprised at all. Now, the one thing you do understand here right about waves is that this uh wave three is never the shortest it doesn't have to be the longest but it's not the shortest right so wave one is usually not the longest either right uh and so oftentimes the wave three is longer than the wave one or at least close to it so that move uh, of a thousand percent or an 11 x 10 11 x um, from the lows here of 17 cents up towards that area of $1.70 or $2 um, is not a stretch, uh, in my opinion. I think that's highly um, possible if that is 
what is truly happening here with Fetch AI. So that's interesting. And then if we zoom down here on the shorter term and we turn on our CC algo, right, we have some buy sell signals that are interesting to look at. So we got a buy signal in a downtrend here. That one didn't hit the next candle. Told you that right on the weekly. Then we got another buy signal that got canceled out here with a nice sell signal. And we dropped down here, right? And we got some uh, confusion. And then we finally got a buy signal that held, right? And we got a nice impulsive wave to the upside. And really all you need is an impulsive wave to the upside to really um, give you that push, right? And then um, essentially we had a nice sell signal here, got another right buy signal that was essentially ignored because we were still in a downtrend. And then now we have another buy signal setting up on the weekly. So we're not going to know this if this hits on the buy signal, I would say until the end of next week. So uh, depending on where this weekly candle closes, right, we'll have the buy signal there. And then if next week is green, boom, I think this thing starts taking off um, and it could go past that 30 cent mark um, as well. And if it basically closes next week anywhere above 30 cents, right, um, the next next week, we might get a little red to buy it at like 25 cents again, and then it can run from there real crazy, right? So um, this I think is looking very promising on its chart pattern and everything. Um, so yeah, Fetch AI for uh, me right now is one that I really, really like, and I've already put some, uh, funds into it at the current prices. So, um, hashtag not life or financial advice, but I think it has a, a good possibility here. And I think at least it, uh, it keeps pace with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, so, you know, a, and, uh, other projects as well. I think, um, it probably actually has a better chance to outpace Pulse Chain over that period of time, which I know is blasphemy, um, but it is actually uh, looks like that just based on data, right?